how to 3i1 redirect using .htaccess file. In this video session, we're going to explore various different ways and scenarios for setting up 3i1 moved permanently redirection rules using .htaccess file. When you're logged into your web hosting account, wherever your website is installed, you should have .htaccess file for you to modify. Now, before I show you how you can do that, let me show you this. Let's imagine on your Windows computer, you simply create a text file, new file, text document. You can actually name that as .htaccess and then remove the .txt extension. Windows operating system will give us a warning saying, are you sure? Yes. Now, all of a sudden, you've created your .htaccess file. It will be an empty file. But within it, you can now place your rules. So now, on our web server, let's continue seeing how we can add 3i1 redirection rules. When you're logged into your web hosting account, locate file manager and press on that link. That is going to take you to your website installation folder. Usually that's named public underscore HTML, but your server setup may be different. It is very important that you actually download the .htaccess file just in case something goes wrong, you can always upload your backup, okay? Now, if you're not seeing that .htaccess file, that is more than likely that your settings do not allow you to see .files. That means press on settings and make sure you have show hidden files checked. Then right click and press on edit. It is more than likely that you will actually have some rules within .htaccess file on a live server. So therefore, simply make some room above whatever the code you have there already. And then let's go and see how we can add 3i1 redirection rules. Now I'm going to show you many different ones. Therefore, I'm just going to paste the examples that I've created for rank offense. So now, first rule to remember, each time you add 3i1 redirection rules, what you're doing is you're adding a processing rule that will be processed each time your web page, your images, and so on are requested. So now that we understand that, let me zoom in to the first example. In this first example, we're using if modules, mod rewrite, if it is enabled, we're turning on symbolic links for our server. And also we're turning on rewrite engine on. Doing so will avoid common server 500 internal server errors. Basically, if you're 100% sure that you do have options for follow symbolic links enabled, rewrite engine is on, then you don't have to do anything because adding 3i1 is as simple as adding that one line of code saying the caret here represents the beginning of the URL structure. Then whatever the old URL name that you want to redirect using 3i1, you simply change it according to your setup. Now I have that forward slash there. What if you wanted to use 
.htaccess file to redirect a PHP file to a different PHP file, then all you would need to do is just give the location. So here, the first one is saying that is the old URL. And then we put a space here. As you can see, there's a space there. And then we give the new URL address. And then we use server rules and flag saying re redirection is 301, which is moved permanently. We, it is smart and wise to take care of case sensitivity by using NC and then last processing rule, which is used by L flag. Okay, so that is your 301 redirection at, at simple level. Okay, so now, as I've said, it is actually smart to use mod rewrite if module mod rewrite is enabled then process the rule now what if you wanted to redirect two different urls or three url let's say two let's say url three we could have easily done this and perhaps this may be of interest to you if you have many different pages to be redirected in this example they are all being redirected to the same url but you could easily change that perhaps you have a different url perhaps you have a different url okay so now you know the file extension whether it's php html or anything else i'll show you another one Let's say you have a PDF file that you'd like to redirect as well. So then you say .pdf, let's, let's do something like this. Uh, my new PDF, my new file .pdf. So this is how simple it is to use 3i1 redirection using .htaccess file, okay? So let me now move on to the other example because these may be of interest to you. At this moment, basically I've shown you how to do a 301 redirection, but you, you, you may be a website manager. You may be managing a website that's going through major changes, then Perhaps you can continue watching this video. If not, you can perhaps watch some other videos, okay? So now, next example. Here, we are redirecting a folder to a new folder. So we can do that by using these rules here. So I'm not going to explain them individually once again, but rather tell you the process is the same. All we do is we give the old URL. In this example, this is the folder. So we're using regular expressions saying, okay, whatever was within this examples folder, redirect everything within, keep the file name the same without changing them to a new folder because we're using regular expressions here dollar sign plus one means the first variable okay now how could you then use the second variable i'll show you that as well let's imagine you have an example folder and you want to direct whatever is within it like so another folder let's say then what if you wanted to do something like this you wanted to redirect everything as in keep the file names correctly but you also wanted to redirect these ones too so then 
you would perhaps create something like that and say another new folder forward slash and dollar sign two second variable so as you can see the power of using dot hdxs file regular expressions this will be of use to you if you're an seo specialist or a web server manager perhaps network administrator let's move on to our another example what if you wanted to redirect an entire domain to a new domain whether it is using dub 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 or non dub 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 on the old domain all you then need to do is follow this example rule here the host you give the address of the old domain and then perhaps a new domain url can go here i've got the net example but it could as just as well be com there as well okay so all url entire domain redirect to new domain that's that example another example moving forward what if you want to force https ssl with dot hdxs file rules all you then do is this you server port 80 whatever traffic is coming through server port 80 redirect to https version of your site okay now in this example we're using an example website with dub 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 if yours isn't using dub 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 then you would just remove that there okay in fact this will be of help to you with search console https failing issue moving forward let me show you another example here change the file extension this may be of interest to you what we're saying is if the file extension being requested is .php then here's the new rule redirect all files as all php extension files to html version or let's remove html let's say htm so we could do that too okay you can also use this format perhaps if you think you know what i want to redirect to an external site completely different url so you could do that as well moving forward let me show you a different example here remove file extension and redirect let's imagine you're making a major change perhaps from static html site to a website that is no longer using file extension in fact i've used this before and it is helpful i know for wordpress okay. so that you can do along these lines you can also say okay how about php files let me remove the file extension so this is the way you could accomplish that moving forward let's imagine your website is installed on a different folder structure then all you would need to do is create .htaccess file as i've shown you at the beginning and then use this rules and then upload within that subfolder on your server because then you will take care of the ssl issues that search console may be having okay so this will be helpful once again you don't save this particular code into your the home directory but rather in a specific folder okay basically what you're saying is in files within a folder should be going through https version similar to that port 8 the example above okay this is how you set up 3i1 redirection rules using .htaccess file i've shown you many different examples and i am certain that i've covered many different angles that you may perhaps need to rewatch this video or use the rules that 
you want to use for your own website. One way or another, remember, when you use 301 redirection, you need to understand how they affect the search engine optimization element and rank your blog, as in rank your website, 301 redirection blog post actually details that as well as showing you many different ways to use 301 redirection whether it's cpanel whether it's php whether it's wordpress i thank you very much for learning with me and i'll talk with you in the next video session